Hi, I'm Nicholas Bonsack, President and Head of Portfolio Strategy for Strategus, Baird's Investment Strategy Arm. The last quarter has been a wild ride for investors and to the forum, we've gotten a lot of questions into the Baird mailbag. We thought we'd give a stab at a number of them this week. On long-term interest rates, I think ultimately what investors are trying to respond to is this uncertainty that surrounds how strong the economic recovery really is. Uh, ultimately, we're at a point where the equity market has now run to a series of new all-time highs, and it suggests a certain degree of perfection uh, has been priced in that, uh, frankly, some of the data uh, haven't really backed up. We think that interest rates will probably come a little bit lower from current levels. We're sitting at about 1.3% on the 10-year yield as we chat, although we don't find much room uh, below current levels. And so we think that the rally in the bond market, the offset to lowering yields, has probably run its course. We would pay particular attention, however, to the slope of the credit curve. And at around 100 basis points, it's as about as close as we want to come uh, before the Fed probably feels as though they need to step in uh, and intervene. So on an asset allocation basis, we ultimately continue to have a bias towards growth. We believe the economy is in uh, recovery and will make the transition to an expansion. We want to remain overweight equities, but we wouldn't be altogether surprised, nor would we be overreactionary uh, to a little bit of volatility in equities, uh, even over the course of, uh, of July and into August, uh, as some of the data that suggests the economies in its recovery uh, start to come uh, to fruition. As we look out through the balance of the second half, it seems as though the economy is getting back to previous levels of output, activity, uh, and ultimately profitability. And so from that, we have to be very positive. The offsets, of course, are that there are still seven and a half million people on unemployment rolls that had a job uh, a year ago, February, uh, at the very latest. And I think that the Federal Reserve and policymakers in general are going to be particularly focused on that cohort. There's a fair amount of um, debate uh, as to whether extended unemployment benefits are contributing uh, to uh, the uh, elevated levels of unemployment. And also, we have to look at school reopenings. Uh, it's our belief that uh, as a number of states start to relax the extended unemployment benefits, even the Biden administration has started to embrace the notion of not extending them. Uh, and as we look forward, uh, perhaps not for our children and students right now, schools reopening in the fall, that we believe some of these uh, high levels of unemployment will, uh, will start to fall. But it'll be critical for investors to appreciate that profitability uh, has also increased uh, and the expectations for next year uh, have risen to the extent to which we're just not paying as many people uh, as we were a year ago. As we think about valuation and corporate profits, it's a very good question. As I mentioned a moment ago, the stock market is priced to a degree to perfection. Um, the more we get out of profitability in 2021, ostensibly the less we'll get uh, in 2022. And the data reflect this, as you can see in this chart here of earnings estimates, we've started to see uh, the outlook for 2022 uh, start to fall. And this is without taking any consideration for potential changes uh, in tax policy, either at the individual uh, level, which of course would impact consumption, uh, or at the corporate level, which would impact profitability, uh, net income in general. Uh, so ultimately speaking, we continue to see strong data on the earnings front. It's probably helping valuations uh, live up to expectation for 2021. We're seeing estimates fall a little bit uh, as we look out into 2022. And again, those organic drivers of growth that we've talked about in the past will be critical uh, in helping the economy bridge from recovery to the early phase of its expansion and ultimately to an accelerated expansion as we look out into next year. We did host uh, an intern event uh, for a financial industry uh, interns and our clients uh, earlier this week, and we were asked a number of questions uh, from the group, one of which, of course, was, you know, what is the best advice you'd give to a young professional entering industry? And my answer generally on this score tends to be very short. Uh, the financial services industry is an amazing and broad uh, uh, industry. There's a lots of different in discrete jobs that, that obviously one can do and, and careers can take a number of different paths. So ultimately for me, it boils down to interest and curiosity. 
Uh, if you're interested, generally speaking, in the capital markets and you're curious in sort of the discovery of new things and how the world uh, is impacted both by finance and how finance impacts the world, uh, then you're in the right place. As always, it's important to remember uh, with so many different things happening about us that you can always talk to your Baird Financial Advisor. The entire Baird team is here to help. We wish you very well, and we'll see you again soon.